हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम टू विजडमाइजर दिस इज प्रीतम भंसाली टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज कंटेनर ऑर्केस्ट्रेशन वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इन वेरी इन डेप्थ मैनर सो विदाउट मेकिंग एनी डिले लेट्स स्टार्ट so first of all we need to understand these are two different words container and orchestration so we will start one by one so first of all let's understand what is container so in real world if we see container is nothing but a kind of a box in which we can keep some kind of goods or any kind of things we can keep inside so when we talk in the perspective of technology or logical world then this container becomes a kind of a environment or a kind of a world in which we can uh, in which we can just put the things like we put in the real world containers but in the technological container we put the virtual things and this practical material containers we can put the materialized things so this is the main difference between these two containers so when we talk about the containers in perspective of a virtual world or this containerized world or in the world of kubernetes and docker yarn we can understand the meaning of a container like when we log into the computer or any kind of a system we require the username and password and once we type that username and password and click on the enter we enter into that particular users world of that particular system so there can be multiple users in that particular system so each user will log in with his own credentials with username and password so every user will have his own separate space he can see his own separate set of folders he can have his own separate desktop setup he can have his own separate software installed so this will be separate for each and every user they can have their own set of spaces in which they will have their own individual things so you will never see that there is a kind of overlap between the spaces of these two users or multiple users the overlap will never happen because all this is controlled by operating system level we also know that these all users are able to utilize the resources of that particular system like memory like ram like processor etc so out of these separate spaces of users the concept arises which is called as container so these separate spaces of all the individual users are called as containers or instances or some some people also call it as a jails separate jail okay so like when we talk about the container i already told you that there can be any number of containers in that particular system so first of all we will try to understand from bottom to top how these containers are organized in our pc or a computer so first of all there is a level of hardware in that hardware we know there is a ram there is a hard drive there is a processor so these are all the materialized things configured at the base level and on the top of that we can see the virtual world starts and that is nothing but the operating system so this operating system can be anything either linux mac or windows etc it can be anything so on the top of this operating system user performs his login activity and the operating system has a job to assign the separate memory area or a kind of a separate resources or a place inside that memory to this particular user so suppose this is the separate space of user 1 this is the separate space of user 2 and so on user n so when we talk in the perspective of kubernetes so what happens here is so when you people start deploying the applications or products into the particular environment so that environment will also contain a kind of hardware it will also contain the os and it will also contain this kind of instances or containers so why we need these many containers can't this all the products can deploy into one container so that is also possible right so here we can take the example of the bank the bank can provide the multiple facilities to their customers like availing the loans from that bank online banking net banking fixed deposit so these all are different facilities means for this all facilities there will be set of separate applications will be there so this set of applications can be deployed into one container we may not need the separate containers for each and individual applications 
so let us deploy all this uh, set of applications into the one container but here there is one big problem what is that problem we will understand this all applications are deployed under a single container therefore these all applications are utilizing the same set of resources through that operating system like hardware ram and processor etc but in future suppose suppose there are lakhs of customer who want to uh, use the online banking and mobile banking etc so the the number of users are going to increase so in that particular way this allocation of resources to these particular applications becomes quite complex and difficult and handling and maintenance of this application will also become very much complex and difficult so just because of this we can classify this each and every applications to their individual container and whenever they need the resources utilization to those particular containers we can assign them their own set of resources to each container so suppose in future there are lakhs of customers who want to avail the loan from this particular bank so this bank can assign more number of resources to that particular container and less number of resources to other particular container or they can also enhance their hardware facility so that they can assign more number of resources or the maximum capacity of the resources to that particular container and these things apply and this thing applies to all the other containers whoever wants to utilize the more resources like ram or for memory so this is the main concept of container so let's talk about orchestration what is the meaning of orchestration so orchestration is nothing but maintaining and managing this all containers for example in future suppose there is a huge load on container 2 so to that particular container we may need to assign or we may need to increase its ram we may need to allocate more memory more ram um, more cpu utilization etc so this all particular resources allocation can be managed through this orchestration process so the main concept behind this orchestration is configuration and management of these all the containers so these things can be done through kubernetes or through docker yarn or etc so this is the main concept of container and orchestration hope you have understood this concept in very well manner if you people have any doubt any suggestions or any thoughts please mention in the comments below and i have also covered so many certifications related video on my channel please go and watch them i will be mentioning the links in the below description thanks a lot